let us understand how to solve the problem of concurrent force system by analytical method so this is a problem given number of forces are acting like this 10 kilo newton at 45 degree 20 kilo newton at 90 degree 30 kilo 30 newton at 120 degree likewise 50 at 240 degree from the x axis we are supposed to determine its resultant how to do it by analytical method so initially we will do summation fx summation fx means you will add horizontal component of all the forces that is along x axis we will get we will try to get what are the component of forces so we will we, we'll measure the angle from positive x axis that is 10 cos 45 20 cos 90 it is vertical and 30 cos 150 and 50 cos 240 240 now we have to be careful that we have measured the angle from the horizontal x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction if we measure from the x-axis we measure from here or here we have to be careful about the sign let us see what we have written in the this equation 10 cos 45 this is written same now here if you will see this 30 cos 30 what is here because this angle is if I measure from this side this is 150 so this is 30 the component of this is in this direction so we can take either 30 cos 150 or we can take minus 30 cos 30 the resultant is the result is going to be the same because the value of cos 150 will automatically take care of negative sign which is coming here so we have to be careful about this uh, when we are writing the equation so likewise the 50 cos 240 can also be written as minus 50 cos 60 because this angle if i will measure from here this will become 60 so in this direction the direction is going to be like this then it can be taken either negative 50 cos 60 of 50 cos 240 because cos 240 will automatically take care of this negative sign similarly we can calculate what is fy we can go through the equation and then finally we can calculate fr fr is going to be summation of fx square plus summation of fy square and we can put the values so this will be F, the value of fr 10 alpha can be calculated as summation fy by summation fx now why we have taken 181.6 degree because the fx as well as fy both are coming negative both are coming negative means that it is going to be it is in third quadrant so in the third quadrant we are supposed to see the angle from the x-axis that what is going to be the particular angle and then we have to add this so it is going to be 1.6 degree is going to be answer if i'll take the absolute value then 180 is to be added because both the x and y both are going to be fx and fy both are going to be negative and the answer is 181.6 degree the magnitude is this and the resultant in the concurrent force system will pass through the same common point from where all the forces are passing so there is no need to calculate the point of application of the resultant force we can directly say the resultant will pass through the same common point let us say o from where all other forces are passing so this is the methodology which is required to calculate the resultant for the concurrent force system by analytical method